Hi, in this video I'll show you step by step how you can create custom drag and drop interactions in Storyline 360. Are you ready? Then let's get started! At the end of this video we have created this drag and drop interaction of the foods that you can drag to the refrigerator on the right in Storyline 360. Now let's get started to see which steps you need to take to create this drag and drop interaction. So I've created a new storyline project and the first thing that I want to do is add a background image of the kitchen in this project uh, on my slide. So to do that I'll double click so I'll go to slide view and now you can see that the, this slide does not has the same dimensions as the slide that I, I showed you in, in the example of my drag and drop, drop interaction. So I know that the background image of the kitchen has a width of 1600 and a an height of 889 pixels. So let's see uh, which dimensions this slide has. And you can see this if you go to the design tab, go to story size, and now you can see the story size. And this story size is the dimensions of your slides in Storyline. So you see it's here 720 the width and 540 pixels the height. So we're gonna change this. I'm click here, go to custom, I type in 1600, I uncheck lock aspect ratio and this will be 889 and now I'll click on OK and you see this that the dimensions of the slide are changing right now. So now I can add the background image of the kitchen. So for that I go to insert, go to picture and here is my kitchen image and I rename it on the timeline to kitchen. The next thing I'm going to do is to add the gradient overlay and I'm doing this by adding a shape in Storyline. So I go to the insert tab, choose shape and choose the rectangle shape and now I draw a shape on my slide and I call it shape on my timeline. If you select the shape and if you click Ctrl and Enter on your keyboard, the format shape a window will open and here you can choose gradient fill. Uh, we can create the gradient we saw in the example. So this gradient has three stops and we only want two. We want the uh, white one at one end and a transparent one at one end. So I can remove this step. So there are only two steps now and you see that the gradient is from uh, top to bottom and we want it from left to right so the angle will be 180 degrees you see it's from left to right the second stop I'll choose another color I choose white and for the first stop I'll choose also another color I choose this also white and for this I'll change the transparency so we will see we have a gradient from white to transparent and I want to create it a little, as it's now in the middle, I want it a little bit to the left. So I'll go to my second stop. I'll drag the position to about 70%. So you'll see here is the gradient and here is the white. Now I'm satisfied with it, so I'll click close. So now I can add the picture of the open fridge. So for this, now we'll go to the insert tab, click on picture and I have here the, the picture, it's a transparent PNG file. I'll click on open and it's on my slide and I'll position it over the other uh, refrigerator in the kitchen. So that's done. And now I'll add two text blocks to um, add the title text and the body text for this uh, assignment. I'll go again to insert, choose text box and I draw a text box here and I've copied my text and I paste it here so and I'll make it bold so this is the title text and now I'll create a new text box for the body text so I will go to insert again body text draw my text box paste my text in it make the font size a little bit smaller uh, 16 is all right I think I make I make the text box a little bit wider and I do some formatting. I make this bold and italic. So now we can uh, add the shelves and the products that we have to draw to the refrigerator. 
So I've already added one shelf and I'll uh, copy this and I paste it again and I draw it to the other shelf. So and you see uh, there is some white in it and also a drop shadow. So I have to drag this shelf on my timeline beneath the other shelf. Now it looks okay and I have to uh, align them. I can do that here on the format tab and I align them to the left. So they're aligned okay. Um, now, yeah, let's save this file for now. And now we can edit the, the products on the shelves. So now I'm gonna add the products on the shelves and the products are uh, gonna be the drag objects that has to be uh, dragged to the right place in the refrigerator. So I'll go to, inst to the insert tab again, go to picture. And now here I can click all the pictures that I want to insert here. So uh, the cheese, raw meat, fish, eggs, soda. Yeah, and I'll click open and now Storyline uh, opens all the images. So now I have to resize these images and I will place them on the shelf. So I had to reposition the shel shelves a little bit to, uh, to make extra room for my products. I um, now resized all my products in Storyline. So what I did, I pressed my shift key and I dragged it so the dimensions of my products are remain the same. So now it's a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller and I can position it on my slide. So here on the on the shelf. Now the next step is to give all the drag items in the timeline a, a descriptive name. Now you see picture four, picture five, picture six, uh, etc. So I'll um, make this drag broccoli. And I will do this also for the other drag item. So I gave all the drag items a descriptive name. So the next step is to uh, create the drop items on the shelves uh, in, my in my refrigerator. So uh, my drop items will be uh, rectangles. So I'll go to insert, choose shape, and I'll draw a rectangle here on the drawer. And I'll copy this place one on the door and one for each shelf in my refrigerator. So, and what I'm gonna do, what I've did also with the product is drop items and descriptive names. So I know which drop item uh, corresponds with the drag item. So now I gave all my drop items also a descriptive name. So the next step is to uh, make this slide a drag and drop slide. And I'm gonna do this by uh, converting this slide in a freeform question slide. And I'm doing this by going to the insert tab and I click on convert to freeform. And now I cho can choose to which freeform question I want to convert this slide. So here uh, drag and drop is all selected. So I can click okay. And you see the storyline has added a form view and a slide view now so this slide is now a question slide and at the form view tab i can add my drag items and match it with the corresponding drop items so i'll choose the drag soda and i know this has to be in the door of the refrigerator and i'm gonna do this also for the other drag items so i'll now edit all the drag items and i match them to the corresponding drop items so now let's see which thing we have to do to make it a, a proper drag and drop question. If I click on slide view, I see that my drop items ha have a blue, blue color here. So I, I don't want it. So this what I'm gonna do is I select all my drag items by uh, clicking Ctrl Enter on my keyboard and I'll set the transparency of the drag items to 100. Now you see that there's still a, a blue border. So what I have to do is I'll go to format, go to shape outline and I say no outline. So now the drag items are not visible for a learner when he's gonna do this interaction. So now if I click on form view, we will go to the settings of my drag and drop question. And you'll see here that you can uh, choose for feedback by question or no feedback. Uh, if you want to shuffle the answers, if you uh, want to attach this uh, interaction to a result slide, if you want to 
uh, the score per question or f or no score uh, for drag and drop and how many attempts you want to give uh, a user for this interaction and um, you have also here the option drag and drop options and here there are some extra options that you can uh, choose for your drag and drop question for instance what you want to do if uh, a drop a drag item is um, dropped outside a drop target so you can see any drop target or a correct drop target uh, what you can do is that you want to review drag items one uh, one at a time. Now we have placed the, our drag items on the shelves here, so that is necessary. Uh, what you want to do with the drag items, how they are snapped on the drop target, and if you want that it's possible that there's only one uh, drag item on each drop target. Now in our refrigerator. There are some uh, products that need to be on on the same shelf, so did this option we are, we don't check. And for the feedback, you see here that you want to delay the item drop stage until the interaction is, is submitted. And I will show you um, now what this means with the uh, drop states. Now let's preview this slide to see how it works. So I'll click on preview this slide, and Storyline will create my preview so now I can drag for instance the broccoli to the to the drawer but you see that the broccoli is uh, too big for the drawer so there is a solution for in storyline so I'll click close preview and now I select the broccoli I go to states so the broccoli has now one state but if you click edit states and click new you see that storyline has specific states for uh, drag over an item for drag correct, uh, drop correct, and drop incorrect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create the drag over state, and I'm gonna change the uh, width and height of my broccoli so it fits in the drawer. So let's see if it if it matches right now. Yeah, a little bit smaller, and now I will set it to exact dimensions so now I have set it to the uh, dimensions so it's in the middle of the larger broccoli and now I'll copy this or I duplicate this state to drop correct and I do this again for the drop incorrect and I add a state for uh, a custom drop state so what I do is I click on edit states for the broccoli choose the dragged over choose duplicate and I call my new state dropped and now I click on add so you see storyline automatically creates a new state now so what I've done is I have closed the states and now I'm gonna create a trigger and this trigger says change state of broccoli where to dropped when a user uh, dropped the broccoli on and now I'll select all the drop items so that, that this means that if a user drags the broccoli the broccoli <laughs> the broccoli the broccoli on one of the shelves of the drawer or the the door of the refrigerator it will automatically change the state to dropped and this is the smaller broccoli so let's see on the preview what it do, does right now I, I pick my drop broccoli and I go to the to the uh, refrigerator you see it's it, it makes it all smaller so it fits and now if I'll uh, place it you see it's 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 still small I place it here it's small so now it fits the the broccoli fits in my uh, refrigerator so and I can also do this for all the other uh, drag items so you can show here a, a larger image and in the refrigerator it's a smaller image so it fits in the refrigerator do you want to download the, the resource file of this custom drag and drop interaction then go to upward online learning slash resources and you can download the storyline file and i've also put a link in the description of this video to the download do you have any questions about custom drag and drop interactions then leave a comment below this video and i'll promise to answer it if this video was useful to you, then give this video a like. 
and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you will be informed every time when I release a new video. Thanks for watching and have a great day!